All right, guys, I'm excited to show you this new Jackson I got. I've always been a Jackson player, but I got rid of a few of them a handful of years ago. However, I still have my original black Jackson dinky reverse, which I'm going to show you in another video. Got it from Sweetwater Sound. Always the place I go to. Now, I haven't played in a long time, and like you, I see all these shredders on YouTube, and it's pretty discouraging, because I used to be a shredder, but I haven't played in years, but I'm getting back into it. We got the trum bar, Dunlop, locking for the strap, which I never use, harm. And I asked them what they meant by that. That means that they said, it's fine. I said, am I going to get cancer if I play this guitar? And they said, no, not at all. It's only if you eat it. Because the materials, the paint, the lacquer could cause cancer. I'm, really? They said, yeah, it's stupid, but by law we have to say that. Okay. It's like a gray marble color. Wow, this is so nice. When I see that name, Jackson... I just feel like I'm at home. Oh my God, the neck is really thin, you guys. Wow. Whoa, this is cool. Wow. Look at that. Can you see it okay? Let me see. You see how it's like white gray marbleized actually in real life the white looks like a, a light tan a very light tan white and the gray is gray and very smooth lacquered you got your three-way selector switch between the two humbucker pickups you guys know the stats on the specs on those i won't bore you with that Floyd Rose 1000. I love the Floyds. I got to have the Floyds and volume and tone. The one thing I wish this had is just a volume. I don't ever use the tone. I pretty much leave everything on 10. Always. 99% of the time. I don't like the volumes because they act like resistance. I like the pickups mounted right to the body. I don't like the, the pick guards or anything like that. I mean, I've got guitars with them, but I'd rather have them mounted right to the body so they're connected right to the wood for the uh, resonance and to me tone controls are cool they feel really nice they're chrome um i i don't use tones period very rarely um because it just acts as a resistor between the pickup i would rather just have the true sound of the pickup but so this is what it looks like ebony fretboard i love ebony I'm not a fan of the shark fin inlays, like the big ones that are, go across the whole width of the fretboard. To me, it's just, it, it looks gaudy. It, it's just me. They, it's just annoying. That's just me. I know that's Jackson's trademark, but I love these tiny shark fins. It's not a reverse headstock. That's fine. It is a neck through, okay? What I like most about this, one of the great features, no painted, no painted neck. It's smooth wood. That's what she said. Sorry. And the paint, I mean, you could feel like the paint. It, I played a friend's guitar years and years ago when I started playing in, in the late 80s. And I didn't like the, the neck painted. His, he had, I didn't like it. My hand would stick on it, as a lot of people have said. And then you move, you transition up the neck. Yeah, it's just like you'd expect. Look how thin it is. If that gives you any idea. A lot of these videos on the internet don't really do a good job of showing you how thin the neck is. Hopefully this will help you. Does that give you a little bit of an idea? Yeah, that's about right. Okay. Pretty thin. I like that. It's not too thin. Definitely not 
that thick. So this is gonna be like a shredder's guitar. I am not a shredder. I'm gonna get back into playing again. I used to be. Um, I mean, I'm, I still play and I'm still pretty good, I guess, but I'm not like, you know, these guys who shred all over the crazy board like Jason Becker. I wish I was that guy, but I'm not. Hopefully you guys can see this. It's, it's not really in tune, but no, it's not. That's, that's fine. I mean, I didn't expect it to be. I really don't care. I'll be setting that up. Um, the cutaway due to the neck through, it makes it incredibly easy to get to the higher frets. I don't like the big blocks, you know, you know, like the Fender guitars or even the Charvels, but the cutaway makes it very easy very easy and very comfortable because you've got this cutaway and it just is part of the body. Very easy to get to the higher registers. It's like effortless. I mean, it's just, there's nothing there, which I love. So that's it, that's the unboxing. I'm not gonna play it right now. I know that's kind of a downer. I am gonna set up the amps and everything. Check out another video on this so you can hear what it sounds like. I'm sure it's going to be awesome. I want to set it up, make sure the intonation is correct. I'm sure it is. And uh, that way I'll be able to do a cool test with the amps. When that video is available, check up here. I'll put a link or a click you can click on to see it. But this is it. Any questions, let me know. Ebony board is really great. It's it's just it's just perfect. It just feels perfect. I have my Ingve Malmsteen guitar, which is mint. Probably gonna I'm gonna sell that. If you're interested, let me know. Otherwise, I'm gonna trade it into a local uh, store. Not trade it in, but sell it to them. I just don't play it. I love it, but I just have too many guitars. I want to keep this one. This is a keeper, but I'll do a video on this, how it sounds and everything. Trying to give you guys all angles, see what it looks like. I like how the body's got this binding. It's not just pure white going to the top of the guitar. Electronics are nice and firm. Volume and tone, nice and firm, just like a new guitar would you'd expect it to be. Looks great, feels great. Looking forward to playing it. All right, every time I get a guitar from Sweetwater, I don't get a case, you know, because I don't, I'm not gigging or anything, so I, they just stay in the studio. But <clears throat> for this guitar, I wanted to have a case, and I wanted a Jackson case, so let's open that up now. Black cloth bag. I've never seen that before. It's kind of nice. I was going to say, should I keep it? But it's very cheap. It's like an SKB case, but it says Jackson on it. Dogs are very interested. These really nice hinges on it. It's 
Got a key for the center one. Got your packets. Don't eat these. Keys. It's very plush, your standard guitar case. Let's see how well it fits, I'm sure it'll be fine. It's set up for both reverse and standard headstocks. Excuse me. And it fits perfectly. The tags and everything in there. It's got two compartments, of course the headstock, and your set. All right, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.